on a quick video. Um, this is a torque multiplier. So this is again my little um, Isuzu 250 tipper and truck wheels. Pretty big, pretty heavy. Uh, as you can see, even the nuts are massive. So getting the wheels off a truck is not the easiest task. Um, this truck didn't even come with a wheel brace, which is pretty typical. Uh, I think they cost more than the truck. So instead of just buying a, a normal wheel brace and killing myself trying to get these wheels off, because uh, at present I've got to do the brakes and change a, a grease seal in the in the bearing uh, on both fronts. Um, so I brought this thing, this torque multiplier, which is for taking off truck wheels uh, and even four drive wheels. And basically what it does is every time I turn the handle, it applies, I'll move my little trolley out of the way, it applies 110 times the force that I'm doing. So like this wheel nut, the first one I just undid, was actually really tight. I actually had to put a bit of force, but nothing severe, just you know, a good good kind of snap to break the, the seal of the wheel nut. Uh, so 110 times, so it's got a gearbox in here. It's quite heavy, probably about 15 kilos, 10 kilos. Um, quite a heavy little unit you can see there that's my socket 41 mil socket but this is what it came in got all the glare so you can see there reduction torque multiplier and uh, basically you can see there it shows you what it's do doing turn it this way turn it that way blah 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 and inside comes with four different sockets uh, I can't even tell you what size actually because I literally just opened it up so just so you know what do we got? We got 21 mil. 21. So you have to see what your wheels are if you're interested in getting a torque multiplier. See what your wheels are. 33. So we've got a 33 mil as well. The 41 is the one I'm using again. So 41 mil on the, which is pretty standard for Isuzu and you know all all the trucks, truck range, Mitsubishi, whatever. And the last one is a 19 mil. So 19. It's um, you know reasonably small, so that's smaller than like a normal car by the look of it. So yeah, 19, 21, 33, and 41 is the sockets that comes with. Comes with an extension piece. Feels very light, very suspiciously light. So you can put an extension piece on if you really needed it. Uh, the extension piece will be handy when I do the back wheels because I've got dual back wheels. So the wheels are basically this wheel flipped around the other way, so they're quite deep. So being a really deep back wheels uh, this will come in in perfect handy um, I got it off eBay I think it was uh, basically hundred and two dollars something like that delivered and um, free delivery kind of deal there were other ones there that were only 70 but they were only 68 times the torque so 68 times the power of what you're putting in when this one was 110 so I didn't mind paying a little bit more um, like I said a wheel brace for an Isuzu from an Isuzu dealer is, is more than $110 just for the simple wheel wheel brace, you know, to undo your nuts. So I thought, well, for the same price, actually cheaper, I've got this cool multiplier. Uh, I just snapped one nut then, and it was dead easy. You can see the leg on it. That gives you the, the you know, the basically the power so you don't have to hold this thing still because you never could. So it just rests against, say, a nut, or it could rest against here or here. It could rest almost anywhere there, so uh, it's a bit sunny here today, so I hope you can kind of see, you know, what's going on there on the video, but, but that's the idea. Stick it on, put this arm behind a nut, or like I said, in here somewhere, uh, it holds itself then, so all you've got to do is turn the wheel, so pretty happy with that. First time I've used it just then, breaking one nut, so I'm impressed I had to get the camera out and uh, show you all, so if anyone has troubles with nuts, apparently these are really good for farmers' wives, that kind of thing, they were advertising it like. I'm not a farmer's wife, but I still couldn't break the nuts on this thing. There's no way. It's, um, they've been put on with a, you know, like a rattle gun. So unless you're a mechanic with a rattle gun, these things weren't coming off. This made light work of it. So, uh, you know, it's quite heavy again. Not even sure what it weighs. I'll quickly see if I can see what it says. No, it doesn't tell me. But look, holding it, I reckon 10 kilos uh, for the kit. It's reasonably heavy. But this is going to stay in the truck from now on. And... Uh, I'll see, uh, I think it's got a, also a one inch, it, it, it's got one inch socket, so it, it has a one inch adapter. So you can't put normal sockets on it, these are quite oversized, but I've seen people on eBay selling the, the one inch sockets, reasonably cheap, $20 each kind of thing, for if you needed a different size. 
So anyway, there's a quick tip on a torque multiplier that undoes big nuts that are strong, like, you know, two held on well. Uh, gets them off in a second, so very impressed with that. Great hundred bucks spent. So uh, I'll just show you this uh, multiplier in action. So you can see I've just put it on, and it seems to it seems to turn the opposite way of what you would normally do. It's hitting the ground, which is a bit annoying. So you can see here it's starting to line itself up on that nut. So the arm's gone under the nut. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so it'll be a bit wonky now. With a little bit of force. Oh, this nut will come off. <sighs> Man, that's tough. I wouldn't want. That's 110 times the force this thing's doing. Now you can see how slow it moves. And this end I'm, I'm powering around. So you can see the reduction there, the gearbox working. For every turn I do here, it only moves like a millimetre here. So that nut, that was 110 times the force and that actually was a little bit difficult. One handed, like two hands that would have been easy, but one hand with the camera, not so easy. So. Yeah, so every time this one goes around, say, 10 times, this one only moves a quarter of a turn. So that's the kind of gearbox reduction that's going on. So basically 110 times the force that you could apply. So if you've got four kilos of force turning here, it's adding 400 kilos of force through the gearbox into that nut. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get that nut off with anything. So real happy with the little Digimo. A uh, reduction torque multiplier. About a hundred bucks on eBay. There you go, guys.